What is up, guys? This is Joe with Optics, and today we're going to talk about how Killmonger cut his hair and became a lawyer. Just kidding, guys. Actually, we're going to be talking about Just Mercy. Had to make a little joke in the beginning because this movie is rough. When I say rough, I do not mean that in a bad way by any means. This movie was phenomenal. Now, I know this is a little bit different from the type of movies and games we usually review here, but this movie is necessary. This movie is about a guy, played by Michael B. Jordan, who is representing a man who was falsely accused of a murder that he didn't commit and was sentenced to death row, who was played by Jamie Foxx. Now, that's the short and sweet of it. This movie deals heavily with racial tension. That's the whole reason Jamie Foxx's character is arrested, is because they just found a black man and said, hey, let's arrest him. Now, going into this movie, I kind of expect it just for the actors to really draw me in and kind of keep the story going because I thought it was going to be something boring, but very necessary and just had like one or two emotional moments and overall be OK with the movie. That was my expectations going into it. And luckily, my expectations were just completely wrong. Now, the movie is probably like 90, 95 percent just conversations. And somehow, the way that it's written, the way it's acted, it draws you in and just does not let you go. So this being based on a true story, that was one of the reasons I thought it was going to be kind of slower and a little bit more uninteresting. But once again, not the case. The way it was written, it was just amazing. And then you had these fantastic actors. This is probably one of my favorite performances from Michael B. Jordan. And I've seen almost every one of his movies, and there's not a movie that I really haven't liked him in yet. And this one is probably my favorite. He did so much, and there's a lot of times where him, and especially Jamie Foxx, can convince, like, they show you their emotions and everything without saying anything. Just so much is shown without them having to say so much either. Now, if you've seen our other videos, we all know, especially Ashley loves to mention it, that... I'm not much of an emotional person. I'll watch a movie and I can acknowledge that it is sad, but a lot of times I won't cry. And this movie is probably the closest I've come to crying. And not just once, but numerous times. This movie really gets you in emotions. I've almost, I cried, almost cried out of sadness, anger, and just happiness, which is rare for a movie to just get me that close to crying, but also for that different emotions in just one movie. Now, when I saw the movie, it was at an odd time, so there weren't many people in the theater. And it was very interesting to see that everyone who was there cried. And there were certain people who were sobbing at numerous parts of the movie. And a couple of people who, once they started crying, didn't even stop crying till the end of the movie. Now that I spazzed enough about the acting and everything, let's kind of get into the message of this movie. Now, looking at the trailers and everything, you might have think, Joe, we've seen this a thousand times. It's just another racial movie. And you're not entirely wrong, but this one is totally different. I can't really compare it to anything else, and that's one of the things I like. This movie takes place in Alabama, and Alabama is not really known for being that kind of caring towards people of other ethnicities. And this movie did a good job showing that that is the case, while also showing that not everyone there is like that. Another interesting part about this movie is it doesn't take place that far away like it happens for the most part in the 80s which when you think about it isn't really that long ago and also it's something that does continue to happen to this day which is insane ash and i have never really been the kind of people to hate someone in general let alone for how they look and that's one of the things that i liked about this movie is michael b jordan is that guy he doesn't really like offend anyone or like go against anyone just because of how they look there's people who yeah the main case he's going for is a case of a black man but he also does talk to people of other races he's kind and considerate to everyone and that's how we really should be if there's anyone who really thinks that hating someone just for how they look or where they're from is okay then they really need to see this movie and I cannot say enough good things about it. The acting was fantastic from every single person in this movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know why you haven't. I did not expect to start this year off with such a great movie, but man, I am glad this came. This is a fantastic movie. If you're even curious about seeing it, go see it. If you like the actors, anything about this, you will love this movie. It was phenomenal. 
And you know what, guys? I want to hear your thoughts on the movies down below as well. Or also feel free to hit us up on Instagram and Twitter. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe as well while you're here. Now, before we go, one quick unfortunate announcement. If you follow us on social media, you saw that we posted the video. It was going to be a little bit delayed because we had a death in the family. And unfortunately, that was Ash's grandma. So she might not be on the next couple of videos, probably for this week, definitely for this week, and maybe for next week as well. Anyways, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next time.